Hey, here's how to deploy a Next.js setting app to AWS Amplifier. By the time you're done watching, you'll be able to set up a Next setting project with Tailwind and add a server-side rendered and a statically generated page to it. Then you'll see how to deploy the project to AWS Amplify and see that all of the server rendering and static features are working. Let's start with a Next.js project. In your terminal, run npx create next app, then cd into the project directory and open it with your default code editor to confirm that the installation was successful. To add Tailwind to the mix, install Tailwind CSS, Post CSS, and the auto prefixer. Then run Tailwind CSS in it to add the Tailwind config file. Open the Tailwind config file at the root of your project and configure it to process every JavaScript and TypeScript files in your pages and components folder. Open the globals.css file from the styles folder and import all of Tailwind CSS. Now to show the difference between server-side rendering and static generation, we can use a date library to format and show the date the page was last saved. We can use datefns for this, so install it by running npm install datefns. Like I mentioned earlier, we need a server rendered page and a static generated page. Let's start with the server rendered page. Clean up the index.js file in the pages folder and create a get server side props function to fetch our data from the fake store API user's endpoint. Convert the response to a JSON object and return it as props. We can also attach an additional prop which tells us when this page was rendered. Now we can use the data to render a list of users. Create a home function component which receives the data from the get server side props function. Render a heading which contains the title of the page. Then render the user's data to show the first name, last name, email, phone, and city. Grab the time of load prop which we sent from the get server side props function. Import format relative from date FNS. Create a relative time between when the page was generated from the server and now. Now, since this is server side rendering, the get server side props function will always be called, so the difference is going to be approximately instant. Run npm run dev in the terminal, then open the browser to see the rendered cards. We'll get back to analyzing the time after we've built and deployed to production. Now I think it's time to add an SSG page to go along with the SSR one we've created. Create an SSG.js file inside the pages folder. Create a get static props function and fetch a list of products in it. Return the products as prop and just like we did in the SSR page, attach a time of load prop to it. Next, create an SSG function component which receives the product prop. Render the head and also render the list of products to show the product title, product description, and product price. Import format relative and repeat the same thing we did in the SSR page to show the relative time between when the page was sent from the server and now. Head to the browser to confirm that the products were rendered. Let's deploy the app to AWS Amplify, which gives us an opportunity to test the time difference for SSR and SSG. To set up continuous delivery to Amplify hosting, stage and commit the project to Git. Then create a repository and push to GitHub. Log into your AWS console and search for Amplify. Select it from the list of services. Click on the new app dropdown and select host web app. Select your Git provider and click the continue button to connect your repository. Select the repository you want to host. Select the main branch and click the next button. Now review your settings and click the save and deploy button to start the deployment process. Then you can just relax and wait for Amplify to deploy the website. Once it's done, click the live link to preview and test. You can see that the SSR page always matches my computer time because when you refresh the page, the get server side props function is always called. 
In contrast, the get static props function on the SSG page is called only when the page was built. So the time still says 219, even when my computer time is 221. I've got some more resources for you in the description if you want to dig further into what you've learned today. Thank you for watching. See you soon.